Hello everyone and welcome to my Technipack tutorial video series. Um, before we get started with this video, I just want to quickly explain what's going on with the fade out at the end of this video. Um, while recording this episode, I actually ran across a really odd issue with a loading chunks error where the text was dark, dark gray and blurry, uh, which I've never had before. Normally it's like a crisp white when it says loading chunks. I'm sure you, you know what I mean if you've ever run across it. But anyways, um, it kind of interrupted my recording session. So rather than, uh, well, rather than trying to edit the two video clips together into one giant 20-minute clip, which is how long it turned out to take me to record all this, I've decided to simply split it into two parts. Um, so I will place a link in the description to the second part. If and I plan on putting this in the playlist. So if you're simply in the playlist, it should just put you right on to the second half of this video. Um, Hopefully you enjoy. Thanks. Hello everyone, and welcome to my Minecraft Te Technic Pack tutorial guide. This is episode two, and I'll be showing you mainly some Buildcraft stuff um, and one or two things from equ Equivalent Exchange. Uh, these are the things that you'll probably need in order to make an automatic diamond factory. Um, something I'll be showing you in my next video, I believe. Um, before I move on to that stuff, I'd like to quickly show you what I managed to screw up in my last video. The rubber from the rubber trees and don't mind too many items i play around with that a little bit just to help make these videos easier anyways rubber as you can see there's a yellow rectangle on this tree now for my last video i was trying to find these and i couldn't find any for you so i apologize for that i need to correct this mistake now so in order to get the rubber resin from the tree we're going to right click with a tree tap as you can see i have a tree tap here i'm going to right click now you see the sticky resin has been shot out at me i can collect that all up um, and if you look closely you can see that there's still a rectangle shape on the tree as long as that rectangle shape remains on the tree there is more resin to be gotten from the tree so i'm going to click and hold my right mouse button until the rectangle disappears that way i can collect as much resin as i can as you can see i only got two more pieces of resin out of the tree so i didn't get that much more however when you're going out and collecting trying to collect as much uh, resin as possible it does make it a lot easier to collect by doing that. Alright, so now that I've clarified how to do that for you guys, I'm going to move on to the build craft and equivalent exchange things I wanted to show you. So I'm going to start with the build craft pipes. Now the pipes are used mainly to move items from chests, automatic crafting tables, and machines such as the like mace raider and stuff from industrial craft 2. Um, they make it a lot easier to automate your machines. So we're going to start with the wood pipes, and there's a variety of different pipes that I'll talk about really quickly. Um, I'm going to make myself a set of wood pipes using two pieces of wood like so, and one piece of glass. This me eight wooden transport pipes. I'm going to make myself some stone pipes as well. Now the stone pipe, there's a difference between stone pipes and cobblestone pipes. However, they both do the same thing. Stone and cobblestone pipes both transport items and have no special functions other than transporting items. However, you cannot connect a stone pipe to a cobblestone pipe. So these are good for if you need, or stone and cobblestone pipes are good for if you want to run, say, two pipes side by side for a certain length of distance or certain distance. You can run a stone pipe on one side and a cobblestone on the other, and you will not have them intersect until you come across any other sort of pipe. Wood pipes allow you to extract items from your uh, automatic crafting tables and such. I believe I already said this. But the wood pipes allow you to extract items from chests, automatic crafting tables, and machines when powered by a engine, usually a redstone engine. Um, there's a variety of other different types of pipes. Like I said, cobblestone is one. I only showed you the stone, but there's also iron, diamond, gold, and obsidian. Um, iron allows you to, by making intersection with pipes, you can choose the only output pipe from the intersection. So if you want three or four pipes to intersect and become one pipe, the iron pipe is the pipe you're gonna wanna use. Um, you need the build craft wrench to choose the output pipe. So and I will show you that at the end of the video. Um, the other pipes are the obsidian pipe, which uses to pick up items off the ground. Um, rather than having to input your items manually into any sort of machine, you can just drop them and it will pick it up. The diamond pipe acts as a filter, which I'll have to show you guys at some point in the future how to use that. It's not too complicated to figure out. Um, it's color-coded. I'll let you play around with that if you want. Um, the only other one, I believe, is the gold pipe for now. If you apply a redstone current to that it will change texture slightly it will become more of an orangey yellow than a solid yellow which means it's powered and will actually speed up items for seven or eight blocks of distance 
allowing them to travel faster. So that's pretty much the basic pipes. I will talk a little bit more about the advanced pipes a little bit later on. Now, the next thing we're gonna build is an automatic traffic table. Now, as you can see, everything here is actually an automatic traffic table. Why is this a good thing to have? Well, the automatic crafting table allows you to keep your recipes saved like this so you can see the output. So for example, as you can see, I have an automatic crafting table with the recipe for an automatic crafting table. So with I never have to worry about forgetting the recipe to make this automatic crafting table. All I have to do is come back here and look at it. All right, so I need to make my or I need to put in a crafting table in the middle and I need four wooden gears to make an automatic crafting table. Now how do I make gears? Well, that's what this box here is for the one raised up. I need four sticks to make myself some gears. So I'm going to quickly split this up into four stacks of four. And I'm going to make one, two, three, four wooden gears for my machine or for my crafting table. I'm going to put them in like so. As you can see, I've got two of everything. When I click once, I will get one automatic crafting table out. Now, just to show you guys, this bottom recipe, if I wanted to automate this with pipes, this recipe in the bottom would always stay there. However, if I manually use it, I can, in fact, use the bottom set of recipes as a um, template to make stuff. You can, in fact, use it as a standard crafting table. Um, anyways, that's not too important right now, but to move on with the... Well, let's go back to the wood pipes for now, just for an example. Like, I, uh, if you remember, I said that you need to power your wood pipes to extract items. The best engine to do this with is the redstone engine. Uh, there are three versions of, of an engine. There is a redstone engine, a steam engine, and a combustion engine. Each of which gets faster. The steam engine is faster and more powerful than the red, redstone engine. And the combustion engine is stronger and faster than both of the other two. However, the steam engine requires fuel and requires a fuel source such as coal or charcoal. And the combustion engine requires either oil or fuel, which can be really hard to get sorted out properly and have automatically fueling itself. So anyway, let's make ourselves a redstone engine. All right, so like so, three pieces of wood across the top, a piece of glass in the middle, wood gear on either side, and a piston in the middle. Now before I put the piston in, I just want to show you guys the piston recipe really quickly. Uh, this is something I have trouble remembering myself, so I figure I might as well show it to you guys. It is three pieces of wood across the top, Four cobblestone, like so, an iron ingot in the middle, and a redstone at the bottom center will create or craft you a piston. Um, I'm just gonna use a piston I've already made for this. So I'm gonna put, or I'm gonna take out my redstone engine. Now I'm also going to make a steam engine just so I can show you guys the difference really quickly. Now the main difference, the main way to remember the up, the way to upgrade this is that the main materials simply upgrade themselves. So the wood becomes stone and the wooden gears become stone gears. As you can see, it's quite simple and the piston stays the same as does oops, the glass. So I'm going to take a steam engine. I'm going to quickly show you guys the difference between the two. If I put down a redstone engine, as you can see, that's what a redstone engine looks like. Now if I right click on that, nothing happens. If I put down a, say, a steam engine, which is this gray one here, looks like stone, just like the materials it was made with. Um, if I right click on that, as you can see, it wants me to input a fuel source. With, um, in order to turn on any type of engine, you have to either place down a redstone torch or apply some sort of a redstone current. With no redstone current, it won't turn on regardless of the amount of fuel. With the fuel, if with it, with no fuel, a steam engine will never run. It will be on, but it won't run. So I'll leave that there for now. I don't believe I actually need those. Um, oh yes. All right. So moving on to the equivalent exchange for now. Um, in equivalent exchange, the most important er, tool that you will probably be using from equivalent exchange is the Philosopher's Stone. Philosopher's Stone allows you to turn materials into other equivalent materials. So I believe it's about 512 cobblestone is equivalent to one diamond. Now you can't normally do that. You can't normally turn your cobblestone into a diamond. That's what the Philosopher's Stone is for. 